Hey there, I've got a quick uh, tutor Beecraft tutorial for you. Um, a really helpful method for uh, um, using Beecraft to uh, separate each individual um, instrument in a drum kit. Um, this is a real useful way of uh, getting separation in your final mix and mix craft, just to give you that granularity uh, so that you can uh, really take advantage of the, the, the uh, Capabilities of mix craft in your final mix. Um, traditionally, a lot of a lot of a lot of um, musicians just uh, uh, render um, a uh, one file from Beecraft, uh, which is great. But and you because you can do a lot of uh, um, uh, effects and mixing etc. on Beecraft. But um, the thought here is why not leave that to Mixcraft? Uh, so what I do here is I've got a um, I've got a five piece uh, kit here. And I put together like a real simple sequence. Okay, so a couple things are real important here when you set this up. One, you want your volume at 100 and your pan at zero, so it's right in the middle, and you don't want any effects. Okay, now basically you want uh, completely flat drums, uh, so that you get all of the uh, sample. Uh, and then you, once you get it into Mixcraft, you can do uh, with it as you please. Uh, so what I've done here is I've uh, I've got um, I've got this all set up, and what, what all I do here is I basically uh, select each individual track, starting with the kick. I click click solo, and you go to file, render sequence, uh, render render it as a wave. We'll call this a kick, and you can see I've already done the other four. Uh, instruments already just to save some time so I save it and that's basically it there's your kick okay and uh, that's pretty much it um, again real important to have volume at zero pan at zero and no effects okay um, and uh, at, once this is done now you're ready to uh, to bring these individual um, wave files into Mixcraft so you can uh, you can start to mix it. So we'll close out on uh, Beecraft. Now we're into Mixcraft. And then what we do is we just select the track, go to Sound, Add File, click the first one. It'll be added. Okay, they just hit Rewind. Second track, Add File, click the second one. Again, just keep doing this until you bring them all in. We had our ride, and you have to you have to hit this rewind button so that it sets everything up in um, uh, the at the beginning of the track, and that's real important, right? Because we want all of the drum piece, all the drum instruments, to be completely synced up. Okay, so as you can see now, I've got all f all five of them in here, um, and we'll just play this for you. Sounds pretty much exactly as it would sound in B-Craft. Everything's in the middle, all the volumes that are 100%. Okay? Now we can start playing around. We've got complete separation of every single uh, drum instrument. So we can go to our mixer. And let's say that, you know, what I like to do is I like to set up the drum drums um, as if you're facing the stage. So I'd have my kick in the middle uh, right here. I'd have my snare drum maybe 20 percent to the right okay and I had my hi-hat just a little bit to the right of that think about how a drum kit is set up I'll put my ride to balance off uh, the hi-hat and then I'll put my crash uh, we'll put that all the way out here to the left in like uh, 61 land if you will okay now if I play this now you'll hear the separation Okay, so again, now I've got complete control. Let's say that I'm playing this and I'm not real happy with the kick. Okay, I want to bring up some bass on the kick. And I want to add some mid to the, to the snare, to the ride. And I want to add some highs and mids, mids to the, uh, I'll just rewind this here, to the snare. And I think the ride's a little too loud. I can tail back the ride a little bit. 
Okay. What about, let's say, the hi hat? I want, I want to have a little bit more uh, high into the hi hat. Okay. And now it's starting to come together. And obviously, you know, what I'm going to do here is let me just uh, select and loop so we can just keep this going. Okay. So basically, oh, okay. Let's say the snare. Um, here, let's just take that off. Let's say for the snare, I want to add a little bit of uh, reverb. Just do a little bit of light verb on there. Now you'll hear the snare. It's got a little bit of uh, um, depth to it. And again, the whole idea here is each one of these tracks, okay, is a separate instrument and it gives you complete flexibility over your drum kit. Okay, so that's a quick tutorial. Hope you enjoy that. Hope it makes your uh, music production sound better. And uh, thanks for watching.